Hello everybody and welcome back to The Hunter, Call of the Wild. So, yes, two days ago now, uh, we took our first look at The Hunter and uh, thank you for all the support on the episode, I do really appreciate it. And uh, we went in, hunt just a bunch of deer over in a field over there. We are in the same location, we're going to be going past there today, but probably quite a bit further because we have a... Uh, a different style of play. In the last uh, episode, we kind of did a, you know, see a herd of deer, try to get as many kills as possible, and hope that we land the shots at a pretty far distance. Didn't exactly go to plan, but we did end up with six kills. And uh, overall, it didn't go so bad, but today we are taking the more strategic route. Uh, we're going to be playing more so how I normally play. The last episode, that was more of a, you know, opportunistic, you know, do what we can based on the situation. But today, uh, our, uh, the wind's not really going... You know what? Let's uh, skip over that area for the most part. We are going to run into it and see if there's a moose or something. But uh, yeah, so the plan today is we're going to take a much more strategic route. We're going to be hunting more as proper hunters and not, you know, all uh, <laughs> shooting spree style. So, the plan. I want to go for big game. We'll go for deer if deer exist. But big game, bears, uh, moose would be nice. We can take a trip further up north, maybe see some elk. Uh, those are more so the goal. So we're uh, obviously, like I said, we're going to go ahead and take a look in the clearing because moose t do tend to come here. It's currently 9 a.m. and that is kind of moose time. Uh, so usually there's a couple moose over there. We'll see. If not, we'll take a wander through the woods and see what we come up with. Uh, we got, yeah, we got some deer over here. We're not going to bother with the deer today. But, there should be possibly some moose over there. We're going to take it easy. Nothing too crazy. Uh, and our weapon of choice for today is going to be the crossbow. And we're going to do a lot of sneaky sneaky upon all these moose if we see them. Uh, I've, you know, killed quite a few moose in my day. Uh, quite a few bears as well. Last night I was playing and uh, there just happened to be a family of bears. And bears are a tricky thing because they know you're coming. They know when you're near. Even if you're downwind and you're super quiet, they, they know everything. Uh, so they're a little bit tricky. Yeah, look at all the deer. Oh, that's such a tempting thing. There's deer there. There's deer over here. We're going to leave them, though. Because what we're here... Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I do have some... I think it's 420 grain crossbow bolts. What we could do is a little bit of... Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, yeah, that's probably warning. Yeah, they heard me coming. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to do a little bit of sneakiness. So what we need to do is uh, we're going to go to our inventory, switch out our crossbow bolts from the, I think, yeah, 600 grain down to 420 because these are, you know, better for deers. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick that. And we're going to want our deer collar. And see if we can get that one to come in. Uh, the males don't tend to come in from it, but the females do. The females aren't really worth a whole lot of points. But, you know, if we could get one, I'd be happy with one. And the best thing about the crossbow, it doesn't look like it's coming in, but the best thing about the crossbow is it's very quiet. As I mentioned last episode, it's you could get a lot of kills with a crossbow if you don't scare the absolute living shit out of everything. Uh, which is pretty easy because a crossbow is, you know, quiet as hell. Uh, it looks like they all kind of fled. So we probably won't bother. We're, we could take a shot, line it up, and get it going. We got a moose way out there. Yeah, the the no, range... I don't care about your tracks. Uh, the range of the collar right is 150 meters, but it's not like guaranteed to get animals to come in or anything. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get to this tree and call it again. I don't know if there's any penalties to overcalling, uh, but it does say it has a duration. I think it's 90 seconds. I don't actually remember. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, so we have our lures. There's something. Where is it? Something was just walking beside us. We do have some what looks like moose tracks there. Okay, we're gonna be very quiet. I just heard footsteps. But we got so much brush around that we can't actually see much. And if it's a moose, we gotta change out because this isn't gonna do, it's right there. This isn't gonna do shit to a moose. Okay, so you are, uh, it shouldn't see us or uh, it might smell us, but you are 20 meters. We could take that shot, no problem. 
Okay, so the crossbow, we have, as you can see, three dots when fully zoomed in. Uh, the top dot is approximately 30 meters to hit, uh, so it's a little bit closer. So we're going to aim a little low on that. And down. There's another one right there, too, coming towards us. Okay, we're not going to go grab that yet, but we're going to see if we get these to come in. Because that's the joy of the crossbow. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. And uh, the crossbow does have massive penetration damage, so generally if you get a, you know upper i guess upper body central shot you tend to go right through the lungs and sometimes the heart depending on it i haven't found the exact heart location but it tends to be pretty much guaranteed even on moose you tend to get pretty much guaranteed one hit downs which is nice and uh even if you don't end up downing it instantly it tends to be pretty heavy bleed rate it looks like that guy's coming right towards us i would like to get some of the males but I'll take the females if we have to, because, you know, points are points. Is that a deer way out there? It kind of looks too big. It could be a moose. No, it is a deer. And it's 145. I don't know where this one over here went, so let's, uh... There's a moose. It's 150. Let's go, uh, get this kill. You guys are all coming in as well. Let's go bag this. And then we'll see if we could do a little bit of sneaking. Oh, they're all coming right for me. Back into the bush. I have a lot of perks that make it so I can sneak through bushes without making too much noise. Which is just absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I'm not going to do the rangefinder to see how far they are. We're going to have to remember that's there. But I don't want to scare these. We could also lay down, which will make us move quieter. But we should be okay. It's right there. I don't have the best earphones for uh, tracking. Where are you? If it, oh, right there. Damn. Stupid trees blocking my path. Right there. Damn it. Stop going behind the tree. Here, uh, let's actually zoom this in. Let's try to sneak out real quietly. It's so hard to see sometimes. They're all right here. There you are. And it got startled. That's to be expected because it was real close. Okay, so how far away are you guys? They are coming in and we are completely invisible right now. Uh, actually, they're going out. So that's 40. I can get a shot. The second dot tends to be about 40 when fully zoomed in. Although, it's not side on, which would be better, but if we get right about there, oh, it ended up moving slightly. So that's going to be bleeding pretty heavily, so you can tell it's limping quite hard. But that should go down pretty easily. And we do have a moose out there, so we'll keep that in mind. But we're going to go bag this kill. Are you guys running now? Yeah, they're moving further right. We're going to bag that kill, move towards this. Uh, the moose are pretty much blind. Uh, you could get pretty far on them, and they don't really notice for the most part. So, uh, even if we start off the deer, we should be able to get that moose, as long as it's, it's actually moving towards us. It might be coming directly towards us, which makes me not really want to go get that one. And I don't see that deer. So, it did make it into the tree line. We should be okay, though. We should be okay to grab this. As long as we move real slow. This is my preferred way of hunting. With crossbow, being very sneaky, being patient. Hunting is all about patience. And that's coming back in. We should be fine though. It looks like the deer are moving out. Yeah, they are moving away. That one's still there. That would be a nice one. What level are, is that? Uh, that is a female moose. So it's probably uh, level one. That one is very easy. Three. Threes aren't bad. I've only ever seen two really high level animals. Uh, one was a seven level seven bear last night. And uh, I, I startled it and took a shot and ended up killing it. But it was like, like 200 meters away and then it noticed me. And it wasn't downwind or anything. So I have no idea how it heard or seen me. But uh, I also got a level eight, which was mythical. And I think that's the highest level out there. And I got that pretty much on my first night of playing. And I was like, holy shit, that's amazing. 
but yeah, it's not bad. 500 and integrity, quick kill, and consecutive kill bonus. Beautiful. And you can see up over here all of the things that we hit uh, because, yeah, crossbow, the penetration on it's just insanity. Okay, so we're going to be on open field. They're going to be able to see us, but at least they won't smell us. So we're going to try to get towards this moose, and that is a warning call, so it's seen me. And we're looking at... I, with the crossbow, I've made an 80 meter kill before. You have to get it perfect. I don't know if I want to really risk that because it will make it startle. But if we can get closer, I would like to get this one and then go for the moose. Uh, the moose shouldn't get startled. We do have the blood over there. But once we uh, either scare or kill these, we'll track that down because it was just over there. And there should be blood trails going all along this place. But uh, we can actually check. We did get it because we have two circles right here. So it is dead somewhere out, probably just within that forest. I thought I heard footsteps, but it's just me. <laughs> it's always just me. Yeah, it's leaving. Okay, so we're going for the moose, which isn't a big deal. It's 85 out, so we're going to slowly sneak up on it. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. We have some brush between us and it, so we got that for visible uh, visibility cover. And then uh, after we get that, the deer are... Yeah, basically gone. They're not worth trying to get. Now, where'd the moose go? It's still right there. Yeah, once we get that, we'll uh, pick up the other deer that we got. And that's the joy of the crossbow. And those are footsteps over there. Okay, moose. What are we looking at? 70 meters. I, I try to, for crossbow anyway, try to get within 45. 30 is preferred, because it's basically a guaranteed there. But 45, I can make 45 work. Uh, I could technically make 60 work, but it's not as guaranteed. And if I'm doing the sneaky sneaky, I would prefer it to be as guaranteed as possible. Uh, it is standing, which is nice. And it's looking directly at us. Uh, so this is going to be a bit of a problem. Because getting a side-on shot is much more preferred than a head-on shot or a back-on shot. Uh, because you're more you have better luck trying to hit you know, both lungs. And if you get both lungs, it's basically insta-down. But with a crossbow, and we're going to lose integrity on this, but trying to get way over there might be tricky. But uh, going head on, we could probably get a lung, but we'll definitely go through the stomach and intestines and stuff like that. And depending on how we hit it, we might also... Okay, now that we're 45 in, let's get the crossbow out. That way, if it notices us, we could try to get a shot off. Because I'm not going to chase this all through the woods when there's other things that we could be hunting. Uh, but if we aim... So right about... Obviously, we would want its head down so we don't go through the face. But if we aim about right there, that should go through one of the lungs, possibly the heart. Which would be ideal. Either way, with the crossbow, it, I think a shot like this, we should be able to down it without it... Without, <laughs> every time it looks up, it startles me. Uh, we should be able to down it without it being able to run or anything. Let's go ahead and see how far away we are. We are currently 38... 37. I don't think it's going to be worth getting any closer. So we're at 37. Uh, so we're going to want somewhere between the top two dots. Uh, right now we are zeroed in for 30 meters. I can't wait to get the longer range zeroing. Uh, I'd like to be able to test it, but it should make life a bit easier. Uh, we have a black-tailed deer over there. Okay, so let's go for this. Uh, we're going to get it to put its head up to expose the belly a little bit. And it wasn't a kill. But it should be pretty heavy bleeding. Most likely critical. That should have went through at least one lung. Uh, so we have a deer over there. Um, let's go ahead and... Where exactly was that shot? Was that the deer or the moose? That would be... Yeah, vital hit. Blood splatter. Uh, so there's our deer. Right there. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Beautiful. It didn't even make it to the clearing. I thought it would. Uh, so that is a quick kill bonus. It's not perfect, but it was pretty good. We got it in the ass, too. Right through there. That's because it twisted right the last second. I was I was aiming for here, but that twist made us shoot in the ass. But overall, that's not bad. 701 points. Uh, almost 1,000 bucks. Pretty happy with that. And then now we got the moose. Uh, and the moose ran off this way. No tracks leading off this way. There's some blood. And it looks pretty big, so that should be a medium. And we're actually going to take this slow, because we know all these deer... That's why I forgot to change the damn bolts. Is that another moose? 
Is that a bear? What is that? Yeah, I forgot to change bolts. It is another moose. So if uh, I used the proper bolt, that definitely would have been down. But I forgot. Uh, so before I forget, I would rather overdo it for deer and forget than underdo it for the moose. But we're going to go ahead and switch back to the 600 grains there. Uh, and that's going that way. And these are deer tracks. So it should just be just over here. Has it died? Yes, it has. It should just be over here. But I don't want to startle that moose over there because uh, if we sneak up, we're going to have to do it a little bit tricky. And actually, it might be worth leaving this moose for now to get that because if we go this way to find it, is there really no tracks at all? I have it tracked. But if we go that way, we can get that moose and then come back and get this one. But I have no idea where its tracks could have went. Right there. That's some more blood. It really bothers me sometimes when there's just absolutely no tracks to work with. Which you think a moose that's uh, stampeding away should be pretty easy to find. That's probably 25 to 50 left. Yes. Oh, no. 50 to 75. And over here, we got another moose. So we got moose central over here. So we're going to have to sneak up on them, which is going to be tricky because of the wind. But we should be able to make it work. I can't really see this going too far. It did get down pretty quick, so it should be probably just beyond this tree line when we hit the clearing again. Especially with this bleed rate. So I, this one here is probably 25 to 50. Yep. And then the next one's going to be probably at 25 to 50. And then probably down to 0 to 25 for one or two, then it'll be dead. Where, oh where. It's leaving no normal tracks, just blood. It is such a pain when it does this. There is a perk to make it so you can see uh, when an animal cuts through trees and stuff. It'll, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look, but it'll show the, you know, damage it does to that. Is there really no more? That's white. We got the moose just over there. No blood at all. Really. I, the, the whole no track thing really bothers me. It's not too often it happens, but when it does, it's a bit of a nightmare to try to figure out. It's fine. It's fine. So, currently we're at two kills. This will be number three, which is pretty good for, you know, the start. I'd like to get five, considering we are... There's some blood. I'd like to get five, considering it's, you know, slow hunting, but obviously more would be better. Hopefully there's some... Tra there's some more blood. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we'll track this just so we have it on our map. Oh, it's not going to be very far. It's probably just a little bit past that one. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get any of those moose over there. There's nothing down this way. We do have a hunting tower, so if we want to use our rifle, we could go up on the tower and see if there's anything nearby. I doubt it, though. Best spot would probably be to go back towards the lake where we know there's a moose. There are some tracks. So it went off that way. Uh, we might actually pass completely by, which would be fantastic, because then we can go in facing that way towards the moose at that lake. And I don't... How, uh, how long will he be there? So that would be this one. No, that's... Uh, I thought I had some moose spots over here. Apparently not. It's okay. They're there. We'll find them. It's no big deal. Now, where... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so we should be okay walking. It's not going to make too much noise. It is raining a bit, and rain does conceal your noise. So we should be okay. As long as we're not walking through brush or anything, it should be fine. But uh, this is a female. Probably, I think it was only a level 1, so it's not going to be anything too fancy. Probably a 500 points at the most. We got it in the neck. That's one thing about accuracy, too. Oh, we did get full integrity bonus. And we, actually, it went through the neck, but only hit the lung. So that's not bad. And it was only a, th it's not super great, really. Now, I didn't have enough time to see that, but uh, we'll make our way through here. Currently, our wind is looking like that. Uh, so that's blowing directly towards the lake. Our best bet would either to be go further this way, or go back pretty much the way we came. 
So we'll just take this uh, nice opening all the way to the edge. We'll crouch. There goes all the moose. So they did smell me, but that's kind of good. Now they're going to be way over there. We can make this work. We can make it work. I didn't expect them to uh, book it out of here, though. Now, the question is, where exactly did they go? I'm hoping that they stayed in the clearing and didn't make their way back in. But we'll see. Uh, not seeing anything out there. Yeah, it looks like they did all run. There was two or three of them, though, so that's good. That's good. There's none right at the tree line. And they did make their way in, it appears. And that's a deer. Yeah, it's not a problem. Okay, so we'll uh, go ahead and sneak our way this way. Right there. What do we have? So we have a moose way out there. Oh, a deer too. Uh, that is only a one. Oh, okay, so they did both go this way. Uh, they're both only ones. And they are making their way towards us. But uh, they're probably going to do what... There's another one right there. You're also a one. And a warning call. But I don't really want to go for the ones. But we don't have any fancy antler bastards around. You are currently... We could take a shot with uh, the 270. That'd basically guarantee a down from that range. Where are you going? It's coming towards us. Okay, we are fully hidden right now. All right, so let's see what we could do with this guy. So we have changed already to the 600 grain crossbow. Um, I don't think we're going to get too close because they are already kind of startled. <clears throat> but we might be able to get 45 if it comes directly in front of us. And that will startle the rest, but they, with the crossbow, they don't tend to get too scared. Okay, so we're looking at about... Four, damn it. We're looking at about 45 is a perfect opportunity. Right there. What? That should have been center... Okay. I should have should have waited. That should have been center mass. I'm going to have to review that and see. But, again, they don't really get startled too easy. So it might go over there, but it'll probably come back. So if we wait out long enough, it might come back for us. Yeah, I should have waited. I got impatient. Yeah, see, that one's already coming back. And this rain is getting quite loud. It knows we're here. Or, it knows we're in the area, but it doesn't know we're exactly right here. Where are you going? You're currently 60. Alright. I don't have a moose collar. I have an elk collar, but there's no elk around here. But I don't have a moose collar. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. Or her, rather. N knows who we are. Knows kind of where we are. But can't see shit. So we're just gonna... It smells us. That's the biggest problem right now, is we're on the wrong side to be effective. So that's about 45. If you stop and give us a chance, we're looking at center dot. And it's startled. We, we won't take the shot this time. We'll see if it stops. That's slow enough. Right there. Ah, oh, perfect. It didn't go down. That should have been long. It's definitely injured. But it didn't go down, which is kind of surprising. Uh, this is good, though, because we're going to track it over to that side. Then we can sneak up on them from that way. And we're going to go ahead and reload. Because you never know when you're going to need all five. And you guys should be fine. But uh, getting on the right side of the area for our scent trail is definitely a good idea. Still would be nice to get a male. Nice big antlers to work with. Would be nice. Yeah, that didn't go very far. We'll see how its bleed rate is. It should be pretty heavy. We probably went through both lungs. I, I'm just surprised it wasn't instant. I did switch properly, right? It didn't, like, not register. Uh, that is... Where is it? Uh, yeah, 600 gray, uh, grain, rather. So, yeah, that was the right one. It just wasn't the best shot. There is, uh, I've always found that there's this weird empty hollow spot inside moose that if you hit it, you just get flesh damage and no real bleeding. And it's infuriating. 
Whoops, I wanted the rangefinder. Oh, it coming right for us. So we're currently, it might see us. But we're gonna take this opportunity. It was a little low. It was a little low. But that should be a nice easy find as well. So it's vital hit just now. We'll go back towards that. Uh, so let's go ahead and leave ourselves a marker right about there. That should bring us to the right spot. And it looks like our blood's right there. So we can see what our bleed rate is. If this one's only a very low or something and we hit that hollow spot, then we'll uh, go track that one and see what we're looking at for blood. Actually, it's just right there. It didn't... Actually, is that... No, it's its tracks. Sometimes it's hard to tell between... Oh, that's a lot of blood. That is a medium bleed rate and it's already half dead. So it probably made it just to the tree line. That's it. Which I am totally okay with. So that is... Uh, this will be number four. That would be number five. I'd be okay with five. Five was my goal for today. Yeah, it's right there. Five was the goal for today. Do we have any other moose? No real reason to be sneaky just yet. Not over here anyway. All right. Beautiful. And we're going to have to go back. Um, it's probably worth it to not go back to where it started. Because we know it ran right over towards those trees right there. Uh, if we go that way, we should run right into its body if that was a good hit. If not, we'll run into its blood trail and it'll be further into the woods. But we can always go back if we don't see its trail. So that's a 500 even. Basically perfect. That's as good as we're going to get. Um, it's because it's a female and, you know, no trophy bonuses or anything like that but we aren't seeing if there was a male i would have went out of my way to try to get that one instead even if we had the females right in front of us but you know you can only do what you can do although for the roosevelt elks which after we pick this up i might go up north and see if we can find one because uh, i do have a color for it and they are very vocal but they're a lot harder than moose they seem to be uh a bit better vision and better for hearing but uh, they are worth quite a bit more points. And I do find that more often than not, you find males over females, especially with the collar. But the collar does track in uh, females, whereas the males just vocalize so you can hear them. But they don't really tend to come towards you. Uh, so we're looking at right about there, and it came this way. So I'm thinking it should be just by those trees. We should see blood. And there it is right there. We got a deer over there. Probably not going to bother with it. I would like to get one elk for today, too. So uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see. Okay, so that is moose number three. So that is five confirmed kills. And uh, not a quick kill bonus, but we did go through lung, stomach, intestine. Yeah, see, that's not exactly ideal. We did get full integrity for it, though. But... The quick kill kind of sucks. That's not bad, though. I'm happy with that. Okay, so... Do we want to bother with those deer? They'd probably see us going through a field towards them. Alright. And we don't have any moose or bears. We do tend to get quite a bit of bears along this tree line here. Although it is a bit foggy, so hard to tell. But we can use... Uh, see if it'll outline something for us. I seen that without having to outline it. That's why I paused over it before it even lit up. Okay, so we have a deer, but that's it. So uh, let's go ahead and take a trip up north. So uh, I do have a mission, which drives me fucking insane. I've spent way too many hours doing it. But at uh, Chila Lake over here, I have to get a white-tailed deer bagged at night. You can kill it during the day, but you have to claim it at night. And I've spent... Ooh, we got a perk point. We got, I've spent three full in-game nights, which is... It feels like about two or three hours per night. So I've spent like six hours trying to get it. This place is fucking barren most of the time. And it's hell. But we do have a perk point. And uh, what I want is long range zeroing. That would be nice. Uh, for perks, there is perks for different types of weapons. You have, there is handguns as well, which I haven't played with. But uh, I've been going all my points into rifles. Uh, because depending on, you know, what you pick, there are some that uh, do effects for all different types of weapons. Which is always nice, but I do want the long range zeroing. And for the crossbow, what does that give us a zeroing for? 10, 50, and 30. 
So that will make my longer range shots better. I would like to test this. So the best way to test this is, uh, let's go ahead and make our way up north. So we got this lake. I know that Roosevelt elk do tend to come up here. So we're going to fast travel to my little uh, tent over here. Uh, we got a black-tailed deer. It smells us, though, so it's not going to be very good. But at this point, since we're not getting any elk, it might be worth doing. We do have an outpost, uh, sorry, a lookout spot up there. We might be able to see something from there and then make our way towards it. But, uh, let's see if we could see this deer. We're going to be a little bit loud while we do a search, but, you know, I'll take something over nothing. And that's just a rock. I'm not too concerned about scaring it. I don't care that much. But if we have the opportunity, then why not, you know? I could uh, use the collar and see if we get it to come towards us. Uh, we have a little bit to hide in right here. Let's do it. It did smell us, so it's probably not going to be super productive. So we'll call that and then uh, do a little bit of hidey hidey and see if we got anything to come towards us. Oh, we got a white tailed deer over there. You son of a bitch. I don't need you. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, there are so many. And we have another white tail. Oh, there's so many. I could do what I did last episode. Oh, they're all coming this way too. I could do what I did last episode. Go on a shooting spree. I would scare them all. We're too close and there's not really anywhere else we can go because, you know, further away would be downhill. They are coming this way though. We might be able to trick a couple to come in towards us. And if we do, crossbow them, scare them a bit, and then get more to come in. Because they're not going to make it too far. Oh my god, look at them all. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen a herd this big. Okay, that's a nice spot. That's a beautiful spot. Let's call them. Not the right one. Oh god, I'm excited. Ooh boy. Not exactly what I was looking for for today. Oh, are they coming in? Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, uh, they're all right here. So that's 50. We can get these 50 shots off. Uh, is there any high levels? Doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to want to probably change this to a 30 meter. We're fully hidden. I hear ya. I don't see you though. It seems too loud. Oh, is it that one? It seems quite loud. But then I also have my earphones super loud right now. Uh, it sounds crazy. But if I get further in, can I stand? No, I cannot. That's not exactly what I want. You know what? There's a lot. We could probably get that plus a male or two. That's another female. There's so many females. We got males over there. But I don't know if they're going to make their way towards us. You know what? I can't not. I can't not. And then, because they don't know I'm here yet, we should be able to call and they might come back. Or we could track them. Because we are at a food zone. They came up this way. They should come back this way. It's only when you shoot the gun that you really scare the shit out of them. Although they were pretty close. That may have been enough to scare the shit out of them. Let's just give them a minute to see if they track back. Normally with a crossbow they do. At least that was an insta down so we don't have to try to track it. I hope they didn't get too startled from that. They were kind of close. I don't think I've ever crossbowed with a herd that close. It probably would have been a good idea to go for... How did we do? Yeah, perfect. 500 points from a white tail. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, I might have actually scared them. Normally, it doesn't do that bad with a crossbow, but like I said, they were all right in front of me. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll see if we could find them. They probably didn't go too far because it wasn't a gunshot. Yeah, I think I scared them too much. Uh, that was not exactly a good move on my part. It happens, though. 
it happens. What's uh, the time on this? So that is... Oh, geez. That wasn't even their time to be here. So they probably were not really eating. They were probably more passing through. So, yeah, it's, they're not going to come back. If it was their feeding time, they probably would have came back. But uh, what we're going to do is a very slow walk through the woods. Not very slow. A slightly slow walk that way and see if we can find them in the next clearing. Yeah, this isn't the best... Uh, hunting terrain around this lake can't see shit so we're gonna make our way to the water's edge Ooh, we have a clearing of course it's right behind us I'm not gonna bother with it but it is just right there it is definitely a close one when we get here we probably should do an elk call and see if there's anything nearby doesn't hurt And it's a shitty black tail. Do I care? What's the worst that could happen? I doubt we're going to scare other things. I never did check its distance, so we're going to have to hope for the best. It looks about 30. And it was about 30. We scared a bunny. That was worth it. I, it was probably most likely on its own. If not, there might have been one, maybe two more. But I didn't see or hear them anywhere nearby, so, you know, may as well get something. Because we might not get any other opportunities. And it always sucks not taking an opportunity and then not seeing anything for a long time. There's a black tail over there, too. So it may not have been completely alone, but there was nothing nearby that would have been too startled. I could call and see if I could get it. So let's claim this. We'll call and see if we can get that to come in. Because so I'll take a, another black tail. Uh, a 500 point. Perfect. Perfect score for that. Is this full coverage? I doubt it. Doesn't look very full coverage -y. It is too. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get something to come in. This is the best type of tree. Full coverage and you can see through it pretty damn easily. There it is. So that's another female. The one problem with old bushes is sometimes the focus is wrong. There's a bunny there. Do we want to go for that one too? It's a one trivial. We're not going to get much points for it. Uh, it is 17 meters away. We have another one over there. I don't know if that was a male or a female. It's going to get startled. Where'd that other one go? Because I don't want to scare the shit out of all of them. Although if I get this... Right there. It is also a female. Let's go for this. Oh god, it's gonna run. Right there. Did you hear that? We have a white. I don't care about you. Did you hear that? I don't know where. I didn't hear it run. Yeah, it's still right there. How far? We'll go for a long shot. Uh, you are 30. Eight. Okay, so we're going to want to go top dot a little high. Uh, so we're going to want right about... You son of a bitch. Turn the other way. That doesn't help. Yeah, right. We're going to have to take the shot. Down. Beautiful. Again, we're not hunting the right things. I want the males, but I can't not... Uh, so that would be... We, we just got... Six. That's seven and eight, right? I think we're at eight. Which is, I think it's a new record. Right, let's go ahead and get a reload too. We only have two bolts left. Ah, oh, yeah, that went through everything. Although we did still get perfect points for it, which is nice. I always take perfect points even if it's a bit of a disgusting shot. I don't know where the mail went though. We'll be real quiet, because it's got to be nearby. Because it's what was calling. That's what, a bunny? I don't care about the bunnies. If one was, like, right in front of us, I'd probably try for it. With the crossbow, of course. But I wouldn't uh, try a long-distance shot. Now, let's switch that out so we can actually use the rangefinder, see if we could see something past there. Eh, no. 
This actually may have been the group from the resting spot. I fear that they wouldn't be nearby. But that is three we got, and four would be a male. So it's possible. Now let's go a little quicker. We're still not too noisy. But I want to get into the clearing a little bit to see if we could find the male. Although we could call again and see if we get to come by. But it tends to be the females that come towards the calling. Males tend to ignore it. Although there is another caller I don't have that I can get. That is uh, antler rattling. I don't know if it counts for them. I think it's uh, roe deer only. Or the Siberian deer or something. I'd have to look again, but I don't really remember. And that was also perfect. 500 points even. Uh, and we don't have any skill points or anything. Alright. So let's make our way this way. And go for one last attempt at something. Because we are an hour 20 minutes in. Once I cut it down, it's going to be quite a bit less. Probably still around 30... 40 minutes, but that's still pretty good. Right there. What do we have? Ah, there's the mail. It's traveling. Oh, we have more males. Okay, so that's a very easy... That's a four. I want the four. But it's traveling, so it's just going to keep going. It might be worth pulling out the gun for this one. I, I'm definitely not going to get both with a crossbow. But... One thing we do need is a line of sight, and I have no idea where they're heading. Let's try a, a collar. Oh, that's not the right collar, damn it. Okay. We are perfectly hidden, apparently. Right there. You are 30. We're getting it. That's only, that's the level four too. You fucker. I'm not shooting past the tree. I've missed beautiful shots before because of tree. The hitboxes on trees aren't exactly perfect. Move it touched. Yeah, right. Right there. Down, beautiful. That is our best kill of the day. And that other one might still be nearby. No, nah, it's way down there. That'd be probably the level three. But we'll take that. That should be a perfect shot as well. I love crossbow hunting. This is this is my favorite part of the game. Not the mass killings or anything. This just feels so rewarding once you get you know the, everything figured out for how you want to do it. It really sucks we didn't end up getting an elk or anything, but at least we got some moose at the beginning. So we're going to claim this and then do a call and see if we can get that other one to come back. Or even maybe if we got a chance, take a long shot. Yep, perfect. Oh, 859. 151 for trophy rating. Because we got antlers and a... It's, it's still only technically easy. But for deer, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, what kind of... <laughs> it's kind of a stupid question. What kind of coverage do we get here? Not bad. Good enough. Can we get that other one to come back? the real question. We don't have anything in this clearing, do we? I heard something. It's right there. Oh god, we're gonna get it. Can I get a... I want to see if that's the three. I want to say it is the three. I can't get a spot on it, though. Definitely don't want... It. Definitely don't want to rely on uh, spotting. You want to be able to notice it yourself. Okay, so that is 33. Through trees and everything. Oh, there's another one right there. There's two more. I just seen them at the last second. That one did go down at least. But there was two more at the last second that just popped out. Where are you? Another, another one. God, this area is littered. Okay, so we got one over there. I kind of want to get more hidden than this. Because we could track them all in. We're going to have to go through the leaves a lot. But if we can get these, that'd be nice. Okay, fully hidden. Where are they? Okay, so 
So we got to remember, we got one. Uh, the last spotting was... Uh, what's that? Yeah, undiscovered. Okay, right about there. That's 70. I want uh, 30 meters. So right about here it should be. Do a call again. Because we know we got some that way that did a warning call. And some this way that we scared off. The one over here is most likely gone. But we do know that one was over here as well. At least one. I just can't believe there was like two or three more. As soon as I took the shot, you just see all the legs moving. But I knew I wouldn't make it through the trees to get close enough. Like, close enough to see it properly. I knew we had the range down. But I didn't think that we'd have... I gotta take that shot. I don't know if we're gonna have another opportunity. Everything else should be pretty far away. Beautiful. Okay, so we got two. So that would be... 9 and 10. 10? Wow. Let's see if we get another one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting... I was expecting big game hunting. And we ended up with deer hunting. For a lot of it. But to be fair, big game hunting is a little bit uh, less common. Do I hear something? I don't think so. We probably scared off enough. Because uh, the hunting pressure is getting pretty high. And once it starts getting high, things are less likely to show up. We will keep our crossbow ready, though. Because you never know. Right there. Another one. We're going to go for it. Can we see? We can't see. There's another one right beside us. I don't think it's that one. It sounds like it is, but that seems... That should be about 30. Beautiful. There's 11. It's, they make it too easy. I got my volume way too loud, though. Because that sounded like it was right beside me. Okay, so we're going to grab this one. Confirm. Perfect. 500. Still not great, but, you know, it is what it is. It's because we can't get much for the males. We have another male in the woods there. So at least we got that going for us. But most of what we killed today are females. And generally you want the females alive so they can breed. But, you know, it is a game. I know it's not the most ideal situation, but it is a game after all. Go ahead and uh, reload because I have, a, I have the Call of Duty finger for reloading. Just even if you have, even if you have 80% left, reload. You may as well while you have the opportunity. Because you never know. So that is another perfect 500... Perfect, 500. And we've got one that's just over here, about 40 meters away. We'll be real quiet, because there could still be those males nearby. Although we are into the wind now, so probably long gone. But you never know. You never know. And then we'll call that a day. I'd say 11's pretty good. Uh, I know our score today... Oh, actually, you know what? We should be doing this at the end of each episode. Our score today is 6,400 so far I should have done that last episode but I forgot that there is uh, the score overview for the session uh, that's more so for multiplayer so you can compare you to who you're playing with which if you didn't know this game is multiplayer right in front of us bunnies. It's always bunnies. Bunnies are surprisingly loud. Uh, okay, so it should be just over there. I'm not gonna go for the bunnies. Should I? Why not? Take the chance. That didn't scare the other ones at all. They just kept going. So we have a bunny, and we also have the deer. I hope it's over here. Obviously a little bit distracted. But it should be near this anyways. And we have another bunny over there. That I couldn't not hit the bunny. We'll see how much point it's worth. 
Definitely the wrong ammunition for it, so we're gonna lose all integrity. Uh, but it should still be worth like 300, 400? I think that's the deer right there. Nope, just a rock. Okay, so that deer, we should just get up and find it. Oh, there's the blood spot. Oh, it ran. It didn't just die. Okay, so it wasn't a perfect kill either. Uh, this is, yeah, no integrity. St wow, 528 points still. That's kind of surprising. Not a lot of money, but shit the score. I'm okay with that. Okay, let's go and see. This should be a heavy bleed either way. So it should just be off over here. Uh, very Non-vital, really? Oh, but look at the blood. That's massive. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, right there. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen anything higher than a medium, and that looks like extreme. So I'll take it. There could still be stuff here, so I don't really want to sprint. Uh, hi. Yeah, I've never seen higher bleed rate than medium, so I kind of want to see where we hit with this. Because it sh should be basically everything, probably. Okay, do we have anything else nearby? Because I don't want to scare it if there is. Go a little bit quicker. We're still pretty quiet. Let's go ahead and switch out and see what we can see. If there was a bear, I would extend the episode even further just to get it. Although it wouldn't take much because I'd use a gun for a bear. Mostly because trying to get close to it's a pain. I have crossbowed bears before. It's just a lot trickier to get that close. Uh, we got it in the ass. With massive bleed out. Uh, we got basically almost a perfect score. That's not bad. Antler, we got a, it was a three. Intestine, stomach. So apparently that's pretty good for bleed. Uh, and it was a silver with a thousand cash. That's pretty good points. That's pretty good. I think, I think that was a good day. We got, uh, where's the eye? Uh, 7,694 for today. And that is about an hour and a half of hunting. That was approximately the same time as the last episode. Although I have no idea what the score is. That's something that I'd have to count up just to see what the difference is between them. But uh, considering we got 11 kills, most of the time here we got either perfect or near perfect. I want to say we probably ended up with only like 4,000, maybe 5,000 last episode because most of those were, you know, the long range, uh, low bleed, uh, the low integrity because we just took shots. But this, this is the best way to hunt, in my opinion. We do have more over there. We're not going to go for them, though. If I didn't have other stuff to record, I'd just continue another episode, like, from this point, And just go and make our way over there, but... It's 300. Do we want to take a one-shot? You know what? Let's do it. We're going to take a single shot. Uh... I don't see it anymore. We're going to take a single shot... And see if we could down it instantly. If not, then too bad. Uh, it is way over there. So that is, it looks like about 300 meters. So twice as far as I'm comfortable shooting. Uh, I do want to make sure I'm using the right one. Although if we want a gu almost guaranteed kill if we get the hit, uh, the 270 would definitely be a better option. But we're looking at about just above where the shoulders are. Or I guess right on the shoulders. Can we crouch? We can crouch. We can't lay down though. So, let's go... Uh, we're going to want to aim high. Hit it. Again. It is down. It took three shots. Uh, two hits, one miss. But we did down it. So that's more points. <laughs> I'm not super proud of that one. But I, I am proud that I managed to get two of the three shots. I don't know how the one missed. It probably came down to an accuracy thing because it was right on. So uh, let's go claim this and then uh, we'll call that a day. And that brings us to over 8,000. That's 12 kills. 13 kills because we got the bunny. So 13. 13. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> That's actually quite... A I was hoping for 5 today and we got 13. Now we just got to figure out where exactly this was. Um, it should be... Yeah, it's right over here. That's our previously spotted. So we'll uh, place a waypoint. 
We've got a ways to go, but I'll cut all this out. We can't just let these go. Look at them all. Why does the game do this for us? We're at the end. I wanted to end this. We still didn't get that pickup over there. But this is so easy. Do we have any high level? It's so hard when there's a big group. I get some marks on some of these. So that's a two. I can't get the one behind it. That's a one. It's the one with the big antlers that we want. I don't want you. I want the other one. What are you? You're a one. You we can't do. Oh, there's ours. Ah! So these are quite far. This is not crossbow territory, and if I get close enough for a crossbow, we definitely will scare them. But we're going to get at least one. I fucking... I just keep going. That's the problem with hunting sometimes. You go to where you killed shit, and it's like, oh, there's another 15 of them sitting right there. And that is a food area, and they are currently eating. So if we crossbow them, we might be able to get more than one. So let's uh, reload. We're going to zero out to 50. We're going to get to 50. We know that a 50. We basically can't miss, to be honest, with so many right there. Uh, but we'll try to see if they'll come back and get, you know, two or three good shots with a crossbow. Uh, it looks like most of their asses are faced, faced rather towards us, so it's not going to be perfect. But we should be okay for a couple. There's got to be something facing our way. No integrity bonus. Uh, we got the skull fucking headshot <laughs> as it was running, because that would have been our second shot. The first shot did almost nothing. The second shot was a brain shot. Wow. Brutal. Oh, one thing I want to do, though, is I want a screenshot. So we're going to get ourselves a screenshot real quick. Since, you know, if you made it this far, you probably don't mind a moment taking a screeny. And I do have to turn the UI off for that, for it to be nice. Careful. We're going to hide so they can't see us. And we're currently, uh, let's get our rangefinder out. Where are we? Uh, 60. We could make 60 shots without too much of an issue. So our first shot's going to be the highest level one we can find. I can't get that one. That one right there is probably it, but I can't spot it. That's a two. That's a one. Yeah, it's one of those two back there. Oh, two. Two. There might not be, I guess, an alpha, as you could put it. We are fully hidden, though. <laughs> fully hidden. I don't think so. Uh, okay, so what we're going to want is a gun. We're going to want to quickly go... Um, system. This is how I do my screenshots, by the way. System. Game. Uh, hunting HUD. Hide on. You son of a bitch, that's still going to exist. It's okay, we could do something like this. Uh, we're not going to have the none facing our way, so that makes the screenshot kind of shit. But that's fine. Do I want to get closer? No, because I don't want to scare him with the crossbow too much. It's okay. That's a good shot. Look at all the fucking deer. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So let's turn that back on and get to hunting. Uh, so we want hunting HUD back on. Not that we necessarily need it. Uh, we want crossbow. Okay, first we got to make sure that we are about 50. Uh, so we're 62. So we know with zero dot at 50, we want to aim a little high. And if possible, I'd like to get one. That one would be a good one because it's facing towards us. That one, if we get lucky, we'll hit. So, And if they run, they should come back because they are f drinking. That's the one I really want back there. You know what? We could aim for that back one. And if we miss, we'll hit one of the ones in front. Because that back one's probably the highest level. I can't scan it or anything. So let's go with that. Right about... Ah, the fucking one just put a head up. A little bit of a startle. Look at them all. Look at them all. And we got that one, right? No, we didn't. Fuck. Are they going to come back, though? Uh, I want this. They should come back. That shouldn't be enough to completely scare them. 
Oh, it did die. Okay, so it died. It just not instantly. Not exactly ideal, but it should still be a fairly good quick kill bonus. So, there it is. I'll take that one if we can get it. What are you? You are... Oh, they're all coming back. It's all about the patience. I didn't have enough. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. So we already have one dead. So that's going to be number 14. We aren't going to number it until we actually claim it. But 70... Look at them all. Okay, so you are a 2. You are a 2. <laughs> they're all coming back. I might be here for another half hour. Just going on and off. Two, two. It looks like they're all going to be twos. Oh god, it's really coming in. And it stopped. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to get this one here. So that's a 35. We're going to go for that one. Hopefully we don't scare them all off. They are slightly further away. Uh, we're going to zero that into 30. And aim slightly up. And it's downed. They're going to run, but they shouldn't be too startled. Let's also do a call again while they're near. See if we can get them to come back quick. Okay, so... Oh! Is that both down right there? What are you? Black-tailed deer? Is that both? No, it's just the one. Yeah, so the other one's somewhere out over there. Uh, we know where its blood is. Somewhere right in here. So we should be able to see where it is pretty easily. But we're just going to wait out and see if they come back. They should. I don't know if they start realizing that they're uh, disappearing, but you never know. Aha! There they come. You stupid fucks. <laughs> okay, so that's a one. Oh, and they're going for the food now. Yeah, because that one's eating. Okay, so they're a little bit further away this time. But we could zero into 50 and aim a bit higher. But they do seem to be coming in over here. It actually might be worth moving to that tree. And I don't want to kill the females, because they're worth less. I'm not saying any political statement. Fuck off. <laughs> and we have more coming in. So we have a two. Yeah, this isn't a very high tier herd. We have a two. What a bunch of stupids. Yeah, you. With the horns. Oh, you turned around. We could basically shoot anywhere in this direction. We're going to hit stuff. I'd like you guys to come in a little bit more, though. Out of the brush. Or at least high enough where I can see exactly where your body is. So that right there is a 60-70. It's a little bit further than I'd like. But we could probably still get the hit. Especially since it's hard to miss when they're all lined up like this. So that's a 70. I've never done a 70 with a crossbow. But we do have a larger zeroing range. So if we aim probably second dot pretty much right on that. If we miss, we might hit its legs or we might hit the back of that one. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we know 70 is two dots. That means probably 90 or 100 meters is a third dot. So we could go for a... I kind of want to try 100 meter now. We have another one right there. What are you? I kind of want to try for 100 meter. And that's about a 70. Let's try for that one too. Because why the fuck not at this point? So we're going to want second dots for a 70. We don't know exactly where its body is. And it was a miss. It's gone. That was... That shouldn't have scared anything. But that was just worth trying. Just to see if we could. Alright. Well, we'll wait again to see if they come back. Which, uh, so far so good. So we got three... Three hits. Should be three kills as well. One here, that one went down, then the one in the tree line. So you're 110. I could just shoot with a gun. Let's try this. 110. Oh, they're all coming by. They're all the females, though. 110, let's go. Fuck. Can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Well, I can't not. Uh, let's change the range to a 30. I couldn't not. Like, they're all right here. The rest of those didn't hear shit. 
Then we've got another one right there. Uh, what's your range? So that's four more. Oh, and it's leaving. If you stop, if you stop, that would be nice. Not exactly a great target here, but 83. So 83 should be somewhere between those two. We hit it, but it's not dead. And that one didn't seem to care, but we did hit it. See, that's the problem with the long range ones. Even if you hit it, it's kind of a meh. Probably died. And then you are, should we try? Yeah, let's go for the gun. Uh, let's reload in case we can get more than one shot off, or two. And then I could zero this in pretty far too, but 150 is enough. And they're all fleeing. Dead. Beautiful. And that was just because. Alright, so there should be five of them. We'll call that a day. See, that's why I love crossbow. This feels much better than shooting into a herd. Uh, so that's 500. Perfect. So that's one. Actually, that's number 14. 14. I wish it also tracked kills for the day, too. So that's 14. And 15. Eight. Oh, shit. Pretty good. Money's a little low. Spine. Beautiful. Okay. 15. And we got 16. Is there a body somewhere hidden here? No. So we got the 16 right here. Another one right there. And then there should be another one back here somewhere. That's wrong with getting so many kills you kind of lose track. Uh, it's not bad. Not great. But we're getting the perfect uh, scores across the board there. Okay, so we have that one, then there should be one more somewhere back here. Which we know we put it down over there, so we'll go and check that. And it shouldn't have got too far. So that is... Oh fuck, I don't even know what we're at it now. That's 16? We started 13 with 5, should lead us to 18. So yeah, that's... That's our, uh... That's our 16. No, 17. There's the blood of the other one. Thought I heard another one. Okay, so if we follow this blood, that's poo. It actually made it pretty far. Lead the right low. So that was not a very good shot. But this is what we're looking for. And you came back at one point. So it actually may have ended up coming in and bleeding out nearer. So we got blood going that way still, although it is bleeding out pretty hard. It says uh, low, but it is doing noticeable damage. There it is. Okay, so that is number 18 for the day. And we'll see. This is going to be not a very good score because it's going to have no quick kill bonus. Yeah, none. Uh, we got the integrity and consecutive shot. Obviously consecutive where you've been going. I got you in the ankle. Uh, and yeah, we did get it with a crossbow. So that's, that's the one that we did hit, but it ran off. It's not bad, though. 18. And we're going to call that. I'm not even going to look for anything. That's 18. That should have been every one that we found. Uh, our score for the day is 11,600. And I leveled up. Uh, no points, though. Not bad. Oh, God. We're up at 58 grand now. We got almost 20 grand today. Which makes sense. Usually, on average, about eight to 900 per kill, it seems. So uh, that is The Hunter, Call of the Wild. If you are interested in seeing more, definitely uh, leave thumbs up and stuff. Uh, if you want to see something specific, like more shoot into a herd, like we did last episode, we can do that. If you want to see more of the methodic hunting, like we did this episode, we could do that. Uh, if you want to see cross... I'm not going to use the bow and arrow, I haven't practiced it yet. And it's probably going to be trickier since it's even shorter range than the crossbow. Uh, but we could do that maybe in the future. There's also handguns. We could take a look at that. There's shotguns. Um, I've used I've used shotguns in the past, but they're short range and, you know, scare the shit of everything within forever. But they are basically insta-kills, it seems. But, you know, you gotta be careful. There's no scopes or anything, so you're just iron sight. There is scope for it. You just need a lot of points to be able to get there. But uh, if you want to see just stuff, let me know. Uh, there is also two other maps that we could do. I'm not going to do the Russian map. Because it is all snow and tracking anything is a nightmare. There is bigger animals there. 
but I wouldn't bother with tracking mostly because it's just the colors on the ground. It's like light blue and light pink for tracking on white ground. And during the day, everything's so bright, it just washes it all out. Not going to do it. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more, let me know. I have no problem doing it uh, because I'm going to play it anyways. So, you know, I could bring you guys on for an adventure and then just cut down all the stuff. That was about two hours, so this is probably going to end up an hour after all the cutting. But uh, either way, it all works out. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. See ya.